Hi, my name is Dave Kieber. I am the owner and operator of Omaha's High Ground, a healthy market garden, and we are in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, we are actually on the western edge of Omaha proper, uh, so we're right on the cusp between the urban and then west of us, you'll have kind of more of a, a rural setting. Uh, Together with my family, my wife Katie and our four kids, uh, the last several years we have built and developed this small scale urban farm on three and a half acres. Um, and we have also built this on-site uh, produce stand with the help of SARE uh, and SARE's financial support and guidance. Uh, we were able to construct the produce stand and it has been a tremendous success. The stand that we built is uh, mobile. It was built on a trailer to give us some options uh, as far as placement, um, both now and then moving forward into the future. Uh, our produce stand is, uh, we have electricity running to the stand, so we do have some refrigeration in there, and then we have just uh, room temperature storage. Uh, the stand itself is about 16 foot long by eight foot wide. Um, this has been so successful, in hindsight, it probably could have gone bigger. But uh, it uh, so far has stayed stationary there, uh, close to our house. It's probably 30 feet from our house, um, which has turned out to be great in that it allows us to engage with all of our customers every day and, and get to know them and uh, allows us kind of convenience of, of not only networking with them, but also restocking. and. So our produce stand is uh, it's a very unique model. Uh, it's been successful so far, uh, and it functions on the honor system. Uh, people come and go as they, as they please. Uh, they help themselves to produce. We have a cash box with a change tray, and we also have uh, Venmo or PayPal they can use for electronic payment. We, we wanted to sell our produce, of course. We, we have eggs, free-range eggs, and we have um, produce that we grow on on site here and of course we wanted a, a way to sell that conveniently but we also wanted to open the stand up to make it available for other local producers so as likely many of you know when you start into the world of growing produce or small-scale ag you start meeting uh, other like-minded people and we identified and noticed early on that many of the folks who were also growing food or raising um, raising chickens, raising eggs, uh, are farther out of the community and they don't have the opportunity to sell that we do. Um, we happen to be on a main thoroughfare, uh, again right on that cusp of the city, so we have a lot of traffic that goes by. So in meeting and talking and networking with other like-minded growers, we recognize the opportunity to give them a chance to bring their produce here to sell it. Um, and then we make a small commission off it too, just to maintain the stand. And, and doing that creates um, a steady stream of product that also takes some of the pressure off of us to always maintain a maximum level of production. Our goal with our farm and with our produce stand and really with everything we do, our goal is sustainability in as many ways as possible. Um, so we grow sustainably here where we, don't, we only use organic soil amendments and um, organic uh, herbicide, pesticide. So there's that, there's that sustainability, but we also believe in the sustainability of um, local food in general, like the, the positive environmental impact of a locally sourced food community and so when we open up to uh, outside growers uh, we offer the opportunity to sell here to both organic and non-organic producers um, but everybody has to be local that's our stipulation uh, for advertising for our stand uh, most of its word of, word of mouth uh, we we take care of our clients we offer high quality produce and words spreads we also have a Facebook page um, that we, we do post daily on, just availability, what we have. Um, but we're kind of at this point where we, we have enough business with enough um, high quality customers, so people who uh, purchase a quite a bit with each visit, to where 
we're right in the niche that we want to be. We're not necessarily even expanding or seeking expansion at this time. We're just trying to maintain uh, a good relationship with our current clientele and uh, it's, it's as much as we can keep up with, so it's great.